Okay, volume of the prism and density. Those two are both grade C topics, level uh, grade C GCSE level seven national curriculum. To put together in the same question, probably makes it more like a grade B topic, but individually they're only grade C, so I've, I've graded it as grade C. Now, uh, as always, diagrams are not drawn accurately. Um, we've got a cross section of the prism, that means that's the end piece, and then the, the shape carries on off in this direction to form a three-dimensional shape. Okay, the length of the prism is two meters, so this way is two meters. Now, when we're doing shapes, we should always be consistent with our units. Usually best to change to the smaller of the units, noting that this is in centimeters cubed, so we need to have this in centimeters. So two meters is 200 centimeters. So the first thing we've got to do if we're going to work out the mass of the prism is to work out its volume. We know that we get eight grams per centimeter cube. So if we know its volume in centimeters cube, we can just times it by eight to get the to get the mass. So the volume is going to be um, the area of this end times by 200. So we need to break this end piece up into two rectangles. So we've got two by seven, which is 14. And then this piece is two by not seven. Seven's all the way across, but this piece is two. So that bit's five, two times five is 10. So we've got two times seven equals 14. Two times five equals 10. So that's an area of 24. Area. And then we've got the times by, so the volume is gonna be 24 times by 200. Oop, 2000 there. Times by 200. And then that's centimeters cube. So two twenty fours are forty eight. There's two zeros on the end, so four thousand eight hundred centimeters cube. And then we know that the density is eight grams per centimeter cube. So we've got four thousand eight hundred. So the mass. I mean, you could use things like formula triangles for um, density. Um, where density is the mass per volume. So when you're trying to find the mass, we need to do density times volume. But if you just look at the units, you should be able to figure out what this is telling you. This is telling you eight grams per centimeter cube. So eight times 4,800. Um, so we've got to do 848s. Eight, eights eight are 64, carry the six. Eight, four is 32, plus six is 38. And the two zeros on the end, so that's the grams. Um, so that's how many grams it is. We could say it's 38.4 kilograms, um, but we could leave it as that, that's fine. 38,400 for five marks. Where do we get our marks? Well, we get, we get one mark for some calculation of area. We get another mark for adding our calculations of area to get the, the um, area of the cross section. Now if you made a mistake here you would still get those method marks. Um, you get another method mark for times in whatever your, your area is, even if it's wrong by 200 to get volume. And then you get another method mark for um, multiplying your volume by 8 and getting your answer. Gives you, you have to have the correct answer for the fifth mark. So there we go. Quite a tricky question, quite involved, but all the parts of it are only grade C, so you should be able to do it at this level.